Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Dino Tracker video where today we have a brand new updated website where we have brand new sightings from Jurassic World Dominion. So as you guys can probably tell by now what we're going to do in today's video is essentially just look over all of the new sightings, check them out and see if there's any new secret missions or secret buildings that were added to the map. So as you guys can pretty obviously see. Uh, America has a lot of new sightings and uh, one of them mainly is the Mosasaurus. So we'll start left to right, we'll see if there's any more new ones and uh, I think there's a new one up there in British Columbia but we'll start with the Mosasaurus sighting. Right here, a whale watching tour was cancelled after a Mosasaurus was spotted near Seattle. That looks awesome, that really does and correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like it's been minimised ever since Fallen Kingdom's massive kaiju sized Mosasaurus, but I, hey, I'm, I'm not complaining. Yeah, so the Mosasaurus is being tracked quite frequently, especially with these with these lines. So it started off here, moved to Hawaii, and then it's gone to San Francisco and is now near Seattle, off the coast of Seattle. So it's very intriguing that they're going on with this. Now what I do notice is that there is a new building here. We'll quickly check what this is, and this is Big Rock National Park incident. Okay, so this is from the short film on YouTube. We'll, we'll check that out in just a jiffy, but I want to go up to British Columbia here. And uh, check out this, ooh, new Stegosaurus video. Wow. Majestic dinosaur, it really is, I love it. But a, vide a videographer captured the moment his daughter watched a Stegosaurus peacefully cross the road. Wow. It, look it looks amazing, it really does. Now, we'll get to Big Rock in just a second. We'll probably do that last and scour this new website to see if there's another one of those because last time out we got this one right here which was Lockwood Manor. If you haven't checked out last video be sure to go check that out. But as for new videos it doesn't seem like there's too much here. I want to see if this is new. Is this one new in Vancouver? No it's the same thing. Okay I'm trying to remember. That's Nasuto. Montana maybe? No nope. Pteranodons. I remember that one now. I think we got two Wyoming ones in the new one. Utah is new. And yes it is Parasaurolophus. So wow I really like the new model of the Parasaurolophus. This image, uh, photo oh, taken by photographer Alex, so that I'm not even going to pronounce that. I, I, I have no clue what that is, but it takes us to a website. I assume a real life photographer's website, maybe? Who knows? No, it takes us to uh, to his TikTok channel. Nice. Okay. Well, he's just got a free shout out. <laughs> and yeah, so we can see the new Parasaurolophus model here, and I absolutely love the new skin and model for it. And uh, I'm very intrigued to see what they do with the old model of the Parasaurolophus is. Now, I don't think there's too many new things on this side. I remember maybe this is new? No, it's the same with the Nasuto. This one's the Compi. This one should be the Allosaurus. Yes, it is. Uh, but this one down in Texas with Cynoceratops. Yes, this is definitely new. Uh, using some quick thinking and a handy prop lettuce, Sean, uh, again, I'm not even going to pronounce last names, <laughs> kept a Cynoceratops at bay. And it seems like that's a juvenile Cynoceratops because they should really be bigger than that, should they not? But yeah, it's nice that they're in incorporating some new people into the lore and canon of Jurassic as well. That's awesome. Interesting, however, Cynoceratops has a high aggression level which matches what we saw in the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. Now we'll move north a little bit. There's something here in Minneapolis. Okay, this is this is from Battle of Big Rock. <laughs> Yeah, so that was from the ending of Battle at Big Rock that we saw in the post credit scene. That that was glorious. Uh, Ontario, I don't remember. What? No. Ho oh, no, <laughs> that's not what I think it is, is it? While re returning to his car from a local nature preserve, a hiker stumbled upon a hunting pack of velociraptors. He's fortunate to have escaped alive. No, surely not. Oh my god, they are. No way. No, I don't believe that. I I, I I don't believe that. I really don't believe that. They are. They're back. Guys, they're back. The Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors. There's no way. I never thought I'd ever see them. So they are alive. They are in our natural world. They are alive now. Oh, this changes everything. Exactly what me and Clayton were predicting in my previous videos. No way. So, I, obviously, I don't even think I need to describe this. We have the male Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor here with the female Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor. I thought all of these guys would have been dead by now. What's been going on? Oh, we need to have some more information regarding this. This is insane. 
This is actually insane, and an aggression level that's extremely high, obvious reasons. But yeah, so the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors are out there, and they're in Canada, North America, Canada area. That's... Well, that's, that's taken me by shock. It really has. My goodness. Oh, I'm actually watching the movie in just two days from the time that this video goes up, and... I swear, if they're in the movie, I'm going to freak out. I really am. Uh, we've got a new sighting of the Carnotaurus here in North Carolina. Uh, not too much is going on, but a person stopped their car to capture this image of a walking Carnotaurus, virtually camouflaged between the trees. That's a reference to the book. That's uh, intriguing. Hmm. Maybe we might see something like that in, in the movie. But yeah, so that's a, that's a reference to the book where the Carnotaurus actually had camouflage, similar to what the Indominus Rex had in Jurassic World. But yeah, so a new Carnotaurus sighting, very exciting. As for the Americas, I think those are the only new uh, sightings. Yeah, so those are the only new ones. We'll get back to that Battle of Big Rock one shortly. Um, but we'll move over to Africa, which by the looks of it, I think we have a new sighting in Nairobi. So we'll check out Nairobi. And this is a... St What's going on here? This does not look like a Stiggy Moloch. So wildlife observers in Kenya were shocked to see a pride of lions hunting a Stiggy Moloch. That, oh, I want to see that in the movie. I want to see that in the movie. That's incredible. I never thought I'd ever see the day where a lion hunts down a dinosaur. That <laughs> okay, I really hope we get to see that. In a very least morbid way, if that's even possible, I want to see a Stiggy Moloch get hunted down by a pack of lions. Now, it seems like we've got some new sightings very close to Malta, so we'll check out this, and oh wow. Oh, it's, an, it's a new Allosaurus sighting. <laughs> While cycling to work, a restaurant owner managed to snap this image of an Allosaurus. Look at it. I really do hope we get to see this model in Evolution 2, hopefully. You know, it, it seems like the Allosaurus is going to have a big role, or somewhat big role, in Jurassic World Dominion. So, it, I mean, it makes sense to add this model, right? Right? Surely. But we stay in Italy because I don't remember Rome having anything, and it's a Comsignathus sighting. A person got too close to a Comsignathus and ended up losing their camera to the animal. Oh, it's adorable. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Is that who I think it is? I'm, I'm on edge here because I remember last time out when they added... Okay, it's not who I was thinking it was. Okay, I thought this was another TikToker. <laughs> but yeah, no, they've been adding some, like, really famous people into this. And this is really, really cool if you were to ask me. It's awesome. So, yeah, that's a Comstignathus sighting in Rome, Italy. Um, I believe we had that with the Apatosaurus. Now, here we go. So, the United Kingdom has Carnotaurus. Uh, I believe that's Baryonyx, Parasaurolophus, and Corythosaurus, apparently. And then here, I believe, was Trike. Yep, we have Trike. Now, here in, uh, pa well, just on the outskirts of Paris and uh, on the coast, well, not the coast, actually, right on, on the north of France and Netherlands, we have some, some new sightings. So we'll go to Paris because this is a video. Oh, they're glorious. They're Gallimimus. Oh, let's check them out. Wow. See, this is what I like to see in the movie. Or even just other some like some other TV series that might come out, just to see dinosaurs, you know, grazing on grass like that. That's that's a shot and a half. Yeah, I like Gallimimus. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on to the next one in France, and we have another Comsignathus sighting. Uh, Masrani Global image right there. So Masrani Energy, I assume. We have the DPW image uh, or logo there as well. But it says here Comsignathus have caused power outages in France. Local engineers sent to fix the issue found them nested in amongst the live equipment. They are so numerous that the swarm has yet to be safely relocated. Yes, uh, Comsignathus, they're, they're going to be a pain for sure. <laughs> they really are. So we'll move over to the Netherlands and uh, we are in the city of... I, again, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But yeah, we... we no. It is! Ah! Mr. Beaver, what do you think you're doing there, mate? <laughs> so I guess the gaming beaver is uh, is canon to the Jurassic franchise somehow. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's taken me by shock. I can't. I, I'll be very honest. I did not expect that. But yeah, I guess the gaming beaver's part part of canon now. 
But it seems like uh, this guy, I was going to say little guy, he's about six foot two. Whilst on holiday, a tourist, <clears throat> the gaming beaver, spotted a Comsig Mathis and decided to have a staring contest. Despite the cool photo, the DPW does not advise getting close to this highly aggressive critter. Naughty beaver. Yeah, I mean, I did not expect that, but again, Comsignathus are pretty much everywhere in this world. So we'll go into Asia. I don't remember there being something. No, okay, there were Dimorphodons. I remember them now. I think Brisbane is new. Oh, a Sticky Moloch video. Oh, check this out. This is so cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's actually really good CGI. I'm really impressed there. That's that's awesome. Yeah, look at that sticky Moloch move. It's great. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm like some some bits of the CGI in this website is a little bit off, but this one, 100% credit goes to them. It's it's fantastic. It really is. This the way you know it matches the camera and walking across, and uh, you can see the sun glare on its skull when it does peek its head over. That's great. That is really really cool. Uh, but yeah, farmer rescued a six sticky Moloch that was spotted on a roadside. The animal was sent to a local paleo sanctuary to be treated. So I've had a look in Asia and a little bit more of Europe, but it doesn't seem there's been any changes whatsoever. So we'll take a quick look at these uh, buildings over here to see if anything's changed. There is no secretness there. I assume Biosyn might? No, they don't. They still have number four. Uh, which we covered in my previous Dino Tracker video. Okay, so I've had a look at uh, Isla Sauna and Isla Nublars. Unfortunately, no changes. Uh, we'll check out the Lockwood Manor again to see if there's anything else. It's not. However, the date has changed. That used to say June 15th, which was actually before the eruption of Isla Nublar. They changed that now to June 25th to correct it. So that's good. Um, but let's check out the Battle of Big Rock section. No, not the Mosasaurus. Here we go. Battle of Big Rock. So... Uh, in June 2019, several families were caught in the middle of a dinosaur battle between Allosaurus and a Nasutoceratops family. One eyewitness managed to capture the event on camera. Come on, come on, let's see it. Is that it? I thought that would be longer than that. Um, yeah, so this was actually seen in the cinema-only prologue for Jurassic World Dominion. And uh, obviously it's another alternate perspective of Battle of Big Rock from what we saw in the short film, which you can actually still see on YouTube now. But yeah, that's the new updated website, as you guys can see. Now, that was really interesting when we got to the Velociraptors. I, I still can't believe that. I really can't believe that. That's incredible. Uh, but yeah, I'd highly recommend you guys to go check out Dino Tracker um, because it's, you know, it, it's a very important website and it's canon. Who doesn't like canon stuff? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If I happen to have missed any sighting, uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. But whilst you're there, also be weary because there are some people out there uh, that are posting spoilers to the movie. So I'd recommend just leaving your comment, don't read the other comments, and uh, toodaloo. Leave the video alone until we've seen the movie. But yeah, so very intriguing things. We have the Game of Beaver in what seems to be the Netherlands. And then we also have Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors uh, somewhere or other. I think it's here. Yes, it's right here. So this was an interesting update to the tra Dino Tracker website. And I'm very, very excited to see what they do next. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. This will probably be my last Jurassic World Dominion pre-release video that won't contain any of my thoughts and opinions, but merely just, you know, new canon information because I will be seeing the movie in just two days time. So we'll be doing loads of reviews, loads of reactions. So if you want to stay up to date on, well, spoilers and no spoilers, don't worry, I'll be able to make sure that you guys know which one has spoilers and which one doesn't. But if you want to stay up to that regarding all of that information, feel free to press that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss an upload. But that's for today's video, from me and the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors, stay safe out there, and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.